Okay, so I'm now going to bring the little packs over and um, measure their voltage. So any that are less than, um, well, really, any at less than three volts could be damaged. So 1.53 gets probably damaged. One point something is probably damaged. One point something. Yeah. Zero. That one's completely dead. And that's completely dead. So those two are completely dead. Zero volts. So that's probably why that particular battery pack failed. And I'm not really sure why why that's happened, but there you go. So those two batteries are zero volts. It could be that these ones have just discharged, but discharging them that much can damage them. But anyway, these are, these two are probably dead. What I'm going to do is um, I'm going to separate these. So this bag here, this can be for completely dead ones, which I know these two are zero volts, completely dead. Any completely dead can go in there, and maybe I'll check them on time, or maybe I'll just throw them. But um, completely dead. Then ones that are want well they, that bag can be for 0 to 1 volt this can be f the next bag can be um, 1 to 2 volts I suppose so these can all go in bag B these can all go in bag B Okay, I'm not going to go through all of these batteries because it would take a while, but let's just take um, let's just take these ones. Okay, so these are a little pack of four. Let's see what these ones do. 2.63, so that will be... Well, maybe it's revivable. You shouldn't really go that low though, but that's in the 2 to 3 volt one. Yeah, 2 to 3 and 1 point something. 1 point something. So they can go in the 2 to 3 and they can go in the 1 point. Let's mark on these, these bags. 2 to 3 volts. One to two volts. And zero to one volt. This will be a bit easier to organise these now. Um, now I'll move on to the next. Okay, 1.3, 1.3, let's try these ones next, One point four. Hmm. 0 0.8. So it's going the one volt bag that goes in the zero volt. Let's try these ones next. These are Samsung cells, so let's see what happens. The one volt bag, zero volt, zero volt, and dead. Next one, these are Sony cells. So, 3.7, that's perfect. So, I need a bag for those. I think I'll just use this. 
3 volts plus. So, 3.7, so that's good. 3.7, that's good. 3.7. Point seven three point seven and three point seven. So they were all good. So the battery management system must have died or something in that battery. It was an unbranded battery and the cells were Sony cells. Okay, what's next? Let's uh, let's try some of these cheap Chinese ones next. Well, actually, these are the, these are Dell, but the these red types seem to be a bit cheap. But anyway, we'll see. Three point six. That's good. Three point six. Three point six. Oh no, two was that two point six? Three point six. 2.7 so the those three are good this one's in the 2.7 these are L, L, um, these are LG cells from them brightly 3.5 okay They were all good. Four, wow, four point zero seven, 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 four point zero eight. Wow, they're all fully, well, nearly fully charged. So we'll I'll have to get another bag. Okay, um, put those in there. So that was no brand, 5200 milliamp power. Now, that's interesting because 1, 2, 3, the 6. So that's a lie actually, because that wasn't 5200 milliamp power. They say on them 2000 milliamp power, so if there's 3 in a row, that will be 10.8 volts. But if you parallel two of those, that's 4,000 milliamp hour, so that's a lie, but anyway. And this is going to continue for quite a while until I finish this. Okay, so I've completed my tests, and this is what I found up to now. These ones here were 0 to 1 volt. Um, then I've got a bag here, which are... 1 to 2 volts and I don't know, there's, there's quite a few in there I'll just show you on here there are quite a few so these 0 to 1 volt ones um, that i just shown you they're probably dead these, these 1 to 2 volts um, in that bag, they're probably dead too. Probably, I'm not 100 percent These ones here are two to three volts, and yeah, there's quite a lot of them. So, quite a lot of two to three volt ones. I suppose that's good news. Um, the two to three volt ones, yeah, they're they're worth a go really. If you go under, I can't remember the exact number now, but if you go under a certain voltage, the cells get damaged. Anyway, moving on. These are all the 3 to 4 volt ones. Now, the 3 to 4 volt ones are fine, they're usable, and they just need to have their capacity checked, but there's a lot there, look. So that's good. Um, and finally, we've got the 4 volt plus. And the 4 volt plus. Um, the 4 volts plus, I've got these ones here. And 
and um, yeah, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've got twelve of those. Twelve that are already over four volts, so um, that's quite a good sign. So optimal charge really is 4.2 volts and they're not far off so that's really good so anyway a bit of analysis um, the two bags on the right are definitely usable and I just need to check their capacities the 2 to 3 volts um, well it's possible that they're usable the 1 to 2 volts and the 0 to 1 um, I'd say they're probably dead so hmm if we take away those ones and we're left with those ones that's still quite a good return really I'd say I'd say about half of the batteries are, are good and half of them are not but that's that's really good um, so more to follow soon thanks for watching bye